Welcome back, guys. Oh, Taylor doesn't have pants, so we're gonna we're gonna blot Taylor out. In case any of you have not heard, uh, there's a huge hurricane coming to Florida. Uh, it's called Hurricane Ian. Uh, it is projected to hit the southwest coast at a category potentially four. So that means that we have to prep all of our animals. So we're starting out by bringing all of our tortoises in. Uh, we got to secure the monkeys and then we have to secure snakes. And if we get everybody secured and everything's okay, we will go out and do some herping afterwards. All right, so let's load up these torts and go. Load the last one. Okay, back to the meat market, guys. <laughs> it was we, good knowing ya. We have upgraded baskets since the last video. They've got this nice big old basket now. All right, we'll go set them up, then we'll get the monkeys. Okay, so we got all the tortoises in. Uh, here's some of the adults. We got them in some tubs just to weather the storm. Carriers, some cotta. Got our generator ready. Hey, little guys. Oh, oh, little monkey's inside. Uh, and then Toby is inside. The dogs are inside. And uh, time to wait this thing out. Can I have some pizza crust? We're gonna do another storm update. Like, all right, everyone's ready to go. The storm's getting closed, and then power went out. We have got a. I was in the kitchen, and all the lights went out, and I didn't have a flashlight, and I literally couldn't see anything. It was terrible. We're like right where the storm is going. It could hit us directly. It could skirt and hit us with the side. Either which way, we're gonna get hit pretty hard uh, by this storm. So we'll show you what it's like in the morning. Uh, when all the rain has come through. Can you tell them how we didn't have power after Irma for like two or three weeks though? Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen to us this time because we obviously won't be able to upload or post videos. So you won't yes, be seeing- Yes, that's <laughs> the biggest concern, right? Is we won't be able to upload videos. Oh my gosh, here comes another wind dam. We'll see. Uh, I've been in Florida my whole life. She's been in Florida her whole life. We've been through a lot of hurricanes. Uh, as long as the house, uh, the cages, and us are okay. It'll be good. Okay, this is cute and sad. Toby's mad that we're out of power and he's trying to turn our light back on. He's taking the battery in and out. You're mad, Toby. Okay, we're so upset. Toby's going through the Texas snake book. Are you looking at all the snakes that we're gonna look for later in the year? Ooh, that one, we found, Toby, go back, go back to the other page. Yep, yeah, that one on your left hand, we found that one on our west trip last year. Uh, oh, now the bird book. trees are bending side to side. It's gonna get real ugly in the next few hours. I truly hope we don't lose all our monkey cages. Oh. Trees going down. Here are all the frogs. Oh, here comes a big one. Come on, power lines, stay. There's an ugly one coming. Well, this sucks. Uh, the pressure switch just got ripped off of our well. Tail end of the storm, getting kind of nasty. Whoa. There's an oak toad calling in the back. Uh, we're flooding pretty good. There's probably gonna be gators and snakes and fish swimming through soon. All right, so the storm has finally passed. It ended up being a lot worse than a lot of us thought it was gonna be. So we're gonna do a quick check-in with uh, you know, the property, the animals. Uh, we were very, very fortunate. Uh, a lot of people lost everything. Uh, we had a considerable amount of flooding, no real damage to us, the property, the animals. Uh, so we're very, very grateful. But we're gonna walk around and show you the outdoor enclosures. You can see this is our driveway. It is completely underwater. We've been inside for 24 hours. Sounds like 48. It started Tuesday night, today is Thursday morning. Tonight, we're gonna go out and see how the wild animals are faring during this storm because some areas got some crazy flooding. So here's our sulcata pen, completely flooded out. And remember, we brought all of our animals in a few days early. Brand new red foot pen, looks a little different now. Well, any eggs you had in the ground, you can say goodbye to. I know. 
There's our pond. We live about 20 minutes from the coast, but over there got hit way harder than us. You can hear the helicopters going. Oh, <laughs> there's a bunch of tree frogs in their hammock. It startled me. My my lemon guava I just planted. Yeah, everything is just underwater. Deep right here. There's frogs everywhere. <sighs> Craziness. Start what? Look at, all, hey, look at all the fish in the yard. Let's see. Them. This is part of that surprise we were telling you about. But now it's underwater. Oh, death trap. Oh. It goes on my forehead, full of blood. Ugh, that was gross. There's uh, a lot of mosquitoes out right now. So that's kind of the extent of what's happened here. Our water's out, the well got busted. Um, the cages are flooded, but overall, everybody is okay. We are okay. Uh, so tonight, once everything slows down, if we get a chance, we're gonna go out seeing how the animals are faring in the hurricane. We'll take you guys with us. Bye. We're, we're uh, less than enthusiastic right now. All right, guys, we're doing some cruising because uh, most of the land around us is flooded. If we can find a dry trail to night walk, we will. So the curfew's just been lifted and we can finally uh, go out and it's gonna be interesting to see how the wildlife is reacting. What did we catch, Toby? Oh, why are you trying to get more snacks in there? <laughs> Look at you, shoulder deep. Excuse you, you don't need a wallet. First displaced wildlife is a turtle. We got a big truck coming. So we just saved the turtle from being flooded across the road. Let's move them and keep going. Okay, head turtle. Three striped mud turtle. Okay guys, another uh, turtle. And this is one we don't see very much. This is called a stink pot turtle. This is one of the smallest turtle species on earth, like the last one. Be gentle, Toby. So this is a stink pot turtle. Isn't he cute, Tope? All right, let's move him across the road and keep going. <laughs> He's fine, I caught him. Tope. All right, we're gonna let him go. All right, Tub, get back. Okay, we know babe, you like these ones. We need to hurry right. up because there's a cockroach in the car and you need to kill it. Tubby, stop. All right, guys, the first oh. first snake we got to save out of the road tonight, a little but chunky green water snake. Look, he's got a big meal. Tub, be nice, no grabby, because these guys like to bite. Get, get back. All right, I'm going to go move him. There's crazy monkey. <sighs> crazy monkey. All right, guys, next up is a little bitty three-stripe mud turtle. Uh, the turtles just keep coming out and we're saving a lot of them trapped on this road. Toby, good. No, no grabbing this one. Bummer, guys. Tobe, you gotta stay back, Tobe. <laughs> a newborn rattlesnake just got hit on the road. Uh, last hurricane, we had the same thing. The little rattlesnakes get pushed up on the road and a car just hit him. A little eastern diamondback. So maybe we'll find more of his siblings. We'll keep hunting this area. Uh, what a big bummer. We just saved the most unappreciative little green water snake. Uh, so this is a baby green water snake. He's been biting me the whole walk. Look, look, look at this little guy. Don't, don't be nice. Just because he's biting me doesn't mean you got to be mean. Oh, but... So look, he is ready to go. This is a feisty little snake who's going to hopefully live a long, happy life now. He was trapped in the road. Oh my gosh, look at him. But his teeth are so small. He's bitten me probably like 20 times. His teeth are so small, they can't even break my skin. See, look at that. All right, we'll let him go. I ran one way, grabbed a baby snake, and then back the other way and got a tiny turtle. Florida water in my left hand, three stripe mud turtle on my right, and I'm out of breath because I had to run all over the place. Toby, do you prefer turtles or snakes? Kiss them. <laughs> little cottonmouth, also known as water moccasin, guys. Uh, these little babies are being born this time of year. It's actually a really beautiful one, too. Look how beautiful they are as babies. This is how they get confused with copper heads down here in South Florida. No snake hunting night is complete without a corn snake. Toby loves corn snakes. Be nice. Give kisses. 
What a pretty little corn snake. It is a really pretty one. Guys, you are not gonna believe it. We just got the closest we've ever been to a Florida panther, and Toby scared it away right now. Those eye shines that you just saw, those were Florida panther eye shines, the biggest Florida panther we have ever seen. What a shame, it's actually a very large one. It's so fresh. Local scum. Oh man. What a not a nice way to end our day. What a high seeing that panther and then a low. So you could see it was sh been shot and chopped off and taken and so has the tail has been cut off and taken. Yeah. So obviously this snake was intentionally killed by someone and the rest of it just left. Scum, local, local scum. It's probably a good five and a half foot snake. Yeah. We have stopped for like a hundred crawdads thinking they're turtles. After hurricanes, there are always tons and tons of crawdads. Okay guys, we're gonna go for a little hike. It's actually gotten really cool out. It's like 73 degrees, which normally at night it's been what, like 85 degrees or yeah. something. So it's actually quite chilly. So, well, chilly. So I'm wearing my Toby's troop hoodie. So we're gonna go for a hike and see if we can find anything. Yeah, it's gotten breezy, cold. Oh, why are you trying to walk? Oh, a dead fish. Dead fish? I wish you guys can like, smell this like I could jar it up and bring it to you just dirty water dead fish I don't know but it, I think it's dead fish it's stinking and Toby keeps wanting to walk on the ground and I'm like get, no your hands are not getting dirty look at this wrecked um oh a big one. all the fish got washed up it's mostly freshwater fish tilapia so they just got washed into these areas just ripped up, snapped off trees everywhere. All right, guys, we figured we'd find one of these during the storm. Oop, fire ants. All right, we got a Burmese python. These are invasive, and uh, they do have to be removed from the ecosystem. Like if you've seen our other videos, again, these are a non-native species, and this probably isn't the only one that we're gonna see out tonight. They always wants to bite. We never remove native snakes, only invasive snakes. Tay, say this again. There's a f I thought it was a weird <gasps> He just ate something. Oh my god. Babe. What the heck? I oh. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I'm glad. I don't know. So, thanks, guys, for kind of sticking with us, seeing what happened during the hurricane, post hurricane, all of that. And you have to stick around for the next video because you're not going to believe what we found because we don't believe it. And also, you got to see oh. if we could save it because I'm really hoping we could save it. This poor thing. You're not going to believe it. Toby, what are you doing? This is like one of the. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Speechless right now. So, stick around for the next video, guys. And thanks for checking in on us. See you next week.